now we are going to talk about the data sources and data sources are loopback ways of connecting to various sources of database such as database if you would like to connect your loopback application to mongodb or mysql or mariadb you have to use the data source this data source provides the loopback juggler connector you have to use that connector you can use loopback for cli to create a data source i'm going to use this command lb4 data source it is going to ask you the name of your data source i'm going to choose db these are all the databases in memory db ibm db2 you can see that couch db cassandra redis mysql mongodb but for this case i'm going to use in memory db which is supported by a strong loopback in memory db which is built it here you will create the json file and you will store all the data in memory db is good for testing only i'm going to press enter full path to file for the persistence where do i want to save my data we will create the db.json file inside the data folder awesome now you can see that data sources folder inside the data sources folder you will see the db.json file let me show you db.datasource.json file db.datasource.ts we have the index.ts you will place all your data sources inside this folder let's create a new folder inside the root directory i'm going to create a new folder data here we need to have db.json file because we have specified the db.json file let's review the db.datasource.json the name of the data source which is db and i'm going to use in memory connector you will see the file path inside the typescript file i'm extending the data source which is juggler loopback provides this connector you will see the static property here we here they are using the dependency injection pa pattern it's a design pattern if you have worked with angular this is the way you will inject services in your project i'll talk more about the dependency injection in the later videos you will see it is going to get the config from this file it has placed this configuration object this is the decorator property decorator so we have created our data source but how can you create the crud operation for that we need to have repository 